Hey, I'm Dorian. How you doing? Well, today's a pretty great day. Today is the day. Honestly, something I've been waiting on for a, for a really long time. What's up, everybody? It's been a minute. Today, I wanna to take you through what is one of my greatest achievements yet, being a giant print of one of my all-time favorite photographs that I've made in the heart of my city, Cleveland, Ohio. What you're looking at is a 370 by 121 and a half inch photograph of the Fountain area of Public Square, directly behind where this photograph is mounted, actually. The majority of you, of course, won't be able to see this in person, so for some backstory, this area is called Tower City. It's a central congregation point for people to sit outside and eat, ice skate during the winter, play outside, relax, or if you're like me, make pictures. Surrounding it is a large field of grass for kicking back, sunbathing when it's warm, walking your dog, etc. This is technically the second print of my photography career, with more on the way, but the very first one I've actually seen with my own eyes, and it is surreal. How this came about, was that an amazing arts organization called Land Studio, based here in the city, reached out to me in part with the Cleveland Public Square group with the desire to have an artwork on display for the fall to beautify, enrich, and warm the spirit of the city. This photo is special to me for a variety of reasons, but it really gets into the true essence of what Sandra is. From corner to corner, each and every individual in this photograph has their own life, beliefs, dreams, fears, and ideas. We so easily lose sight of the simple truth that we are all just trying to figure it out because we get caught up in our own lives and biases. And to some degree, it's impossible not to. After all, we're human. But street photography constantly reminds me to explore not only the stories of others, but the story of myself. And to always accept the challenge to become the best that I can. It's taught me to live with a more open heart, even when it hurts. The ways in which I've shared laughs, smiles, heartwarming messages, conversations, or simply lingering eye contact with countless people who I may never even see again has given my life a meaning that I've been searching for for such a long time, and none of these moments would have happened if I didn't rise to the occasion. This day alone, while myself and my best friend, who's also named Dorian, we're seeing it for his first time. Four or five people of different ages and backgrounds came up to us in a 20 minute span alone to tell us how amazing the photograph is and how it made them feel. It's funny because a couple of young kids came up to us and they were awestruck by the photo. Perhaps the messenger bag X Pro 3 around my neck and giant grin that I've had for like two and a half weeks gave away that I'm the photographer. Afterwards, we all sat and hung out just to chop it up for a bit. Also, so that they could ask to respectfully bust a wheelie in front of my mural. And I was impressed, they did a good job. My initial goals with photography were to make the world more beautiful through it, to make a positive impact on those that I come across, to become the best artist that I can be, to explore the different worlds that each and every one of us have, and to inspire others through my work. And while those are still significant goals, it's become so much more. Some of you who follow me on Instagram may know that this past summer, which was a really hard time for me, I was chosen to lead a photography summer camp to teach the inner city youth the fundamentals, history, and more about the craft. And let me tell you, I pushed that curriculum as far as I could. This is about why artists are necessary, why their creativity matters, why the image is powerful, and why creative voices need to be protected and cultivated so we can continue to challenge and enhance these commonly held notions that we have. Now people in general, but these young kids especially, need the littlest bit of encouragement and then they will amaze you with the thoughts, potential, and work that they can create. Perhaps the biggest change though, is that back in August, I was selected by a duo of our major arts organizations to be a year long artist in residency, teaching photography to more middle schoolers in the city and getting some time to work on my practice. Now these kids are sharp, they're talented, they learn fast, they're intelligent, they're energetic, and they're probably going to find this video because they know I have a YouTube channel. So if any of you find this, go finish your project. To give you a little bit more information about the photograph, some of you may have seen the original version have a much different crop and that it was actually in black and white. 
Now due to the dimensions of the mural space, it had to be cropped pretty significantly, but I love the crop. I think it brings a different element of the same message to the photograph, and I'm totally here for it. And for my gearheads, I forget about you. It was photographed on the Fujifilm X-T4 and 18mm 1.4. To round everything in this video out, I wanna to read to you what the plaque says right by my artwork. Ahem. My name is Dorian Coleman and I'm a photographer, videographer, and educator based in Cleveland, Ohio. My work explores the poetic subtleties of society and culture, transfiguring people of all walks of life through the art of street photography. Be it city streets, neighborhoods, community events, or the spaces in between, I find inspiration in countless aspects of life. I often focus my lens on themes of togetherness, beauty, and individualism. In what may simply appear as a crowd trying to cool off on a summer afternoon, I see the charm of how the simplest joys can bring us together. I see a community of people, each with their own lives, experiences, dreams, and ideas. I see people with infinite potential, united in spirit, just this once, if not ever again. I thank you all so much for watching. I thank everybody who's subscribed, who's watched the video, who's liked the video, who's commented, who's messaged me something on Instagram, Twitter, who's ever said or done anything supportive, whether I knew it or not, I greatly appreciate it. This is such an amazing blessing. And even though I'm three, roughly three and a half years into my street photography journey, man, we are just getting started. It's become so much more than just a photography journey. This is a creative journey and an artist journey, a personal journey. And I'm glad to see that this community that we're building is going to be part of it. And I just can't wait to see what's next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.